Hello, uh, this is Ute Pepke. Um, I'm the president of the Munich Sister City Association of Cincinnati, Ohio, in the United States. I was born and raised in Germany, immigrated with my parents in 1957. I'm a business consultant who has always done much volunteer work, married to Hans Joachim Pepke, whom I met in Germany in 1962, who, by the way, painted the large painting that you see behind me. We have three grown daughters, four grandchildren. Well, we spent February and March on Marco Island in Florida, near Naples. And Marco is the largest island in the Everglades. While there, we were all encouraged to keep six foot distances. We still had a good time and drove home 1,100 miles in two days on March 31st this year, as we had planned, one of the most relaxing drives ever, an I-75 with very few passenger cars, 90% of trucks. Hans and I took turns driving, stayed in a hotel we knew and had reserved. We saw no police. I took a face mask for each of us, disposable plastic gloves, sanitizer wipes, plus our own food for the trip. After getting gas, I wiped the credit card as well as the handle of the pump. Better safe than sorry. My husband is 82 and had a heart valve replaced September 30th, 2019. And I'm 78, but very healthy. Thus, we belong to the group of people who are encouraged to stay home. Once home, we did a voluntary quarantine for 14 days. Our youngest daughter lives the closest and she ordered the groceries for us. Brought them to us, her son Jake, who is 15, and by the way can now drive a car, at least with someone who has a license in the car. He cuts our grass. I went shopping last Tuesday and was astounded that only about 20% of the people wore face masks the cashiers in all the stores, including the post office, are now behind a window pane. Many stores have special hours for senior citizens, and it's very similar to Germany. We've had many virtual meetings, many stories, how people look after each other. Soon we shall have medication which will combat the coronavirus, and we shall take a deep breath and resume our life, although we shall never forget this. I felt especially bad when I had to cancel the visit of 15 students and two chaperones from Munich who planned to come to Cincinnati April 5th. Several interns had to leave early and others could not come. We averaged 16 per year. Now I'm waiting to see if our students are able to go to Munich, June 18th. I really hope so. Although we are very concerned, we remind ourselves that we grew up at the end of World War II. We shall survive if we are cautious. You cannot have fear overwhelm you. Here we're now talking about opening up many things and people are going back to work. It's a lesson for all of us to be kind to each other and have patience. I suspect the Fessler dancers will dance in Munich once again this year. Please stay safe and smile. It's good for the soul. Alles, alles Gute. Bye bye.